You know, let me just say one thing briefly. You know how much I've been opposed to this project. I think that it's uh, it's pointless. I think it's a waste of money. What we're seeing now is we're starting to see the cost in human terms of it. We've got a nice neighborhood here, people that have that have kept the place up and built a life here. And now all of a sudden for something which is not really going to serve anything, this neighborhood is going to be disrupted. We've got neighbors that are upset. We've got businesses that we've been in communication with that are being hurt by the project because land's being taken from them. We've got people in other towns that don't want the project going through. We've got labor unions that are mad that the jobs are going to Massachusetts and not to Connecticut. I mean, the thing has hardly begun, and already uh, it, I think it's going to pieces. And I think the smartest thing we could do in the state of Connecticut is to stop this project. Witt and I will introduce amendments um, before the legislative session is over. We will identify bills that we can put on to get a vote up and down on the busway. I'll tell you this, if the legislators in Hartford voted what they know to be true in their minds and in their hearts, they would stop this project. Because even the people on the other side, by and large, realize that it's a big waste of an awful lot of money and it's going to cause tremendous disruption and it's going to be for nothing in the end. If I, uh, if I could just add to what Joe said, um, people have often asked is, is there something that could be done to stop this busway? The legislature is going to have a very specific opportunity to be able to do that and if the answer is it's too late we can't do anything about it, uh, we totally disagree with that and they will be given the opportunity to be able to stop the busway uh, through the amendments, which we'll talk about at a future uh, press conference. But the one thing everybody should know is this busway is hugely unpopular, that the cost is outrageous, and it is definitely uh, not a higher priority in the minds of taxpayers over repairing roads and bridges. And that's where folks want that money to be spent, and we need to be able to, to listen and pay attention to their voices and their opinions because frankly they're the ones who are paying for this. Um, well yeah. our concerns here were you know as far as you know how it's gonna disrupt our way of living here um, you know how it's gonna impact the values of our homes you know we've been told it won't impact it but honestly I bought my house here 12 years ago and if I would have known this was going on when I purchased it I would have never purchased it um, you know now as far as you know down the road if we decide to sell can we sell? Will we be able to sell? And what are they going to be worth at the time? Um, you know, on top of that, you know, uh, noise pollution in the area, they say there's not going to be any. But I mean, living right across the street from buses running every, you know, some odd minutes, we're going to have issues with that. Um, you know, it's just endless the concerns that we have. I mean, I could go on forever, but, um, you know, not just that, you know, money that they're spending on this, you know, they're talking $1,000 per inch which is, you know, a little outrageous considering taxpayers are footing the bill for it. And, uh, I mean, pretty much, you know, th those are my concerns on it. Did you not recently? Hi, my name is um, Cedric Nelson. I live right here at um, 26 Cottage Place. And my thing is, not only is it going to be behind my house, where's, where are they going to put the snow? You know, who's going to foot the bill on that? Because it's, it's only so big and you've got to push this so one side or the other. Who's going to pay the cost to haul it away? You know what I mean? It's going to be taxpayer once again. And not only that, like um, Jamie said, the value of my house is tremendously is going to drop because I'm right, right on it, right there. You know? That's all I have to say. It's the fact that I have um, smaller children. And at, initially, there was talk about putting up a barrier um, between the railroad and the homes. But now, from what I'm hearing, it's going to be just a chain link fence. So there's dangers here, and there's other children in the neighborhood. They may not, you know, come directly in the backyard, but they are playing, whether it be in their yard or, which I am 34 Cottage Place, and once again, like Rick, my home is directly affected by the busway. So it's, it's you know, really concerning about what's going to happen. Um, are they going to have to take our land? Because what Sharon was indicating to me is that her fence, and like Rick indicated, is a foot on the um, property line and Sharon and I's fence are directly close you know to one it's another one it's one line so if they have to take hers Rick and I'm sure they're gonna take mine who is gonna pay for that are we gonna have to you know have someone come in and pay to take that down that's another cost that you know we're gonna be impacted and also you know with the um, individuals stopping at the bus at the corner where Douglas lives what people are gonna be entering into our neighborhood like I was telling um, Pam 
we're we know we're not intimate not each and every one of us are intimate but we know when each one comes and goes we know who's in the neighborhood and who's not supposed to be here now who's gonna you know probably stroll down our street and you know anyone could take something off your your property we really don't know these people so that's another concern that just comes to me hello my name is douglas patoric and i live on a corner of cottage place and east main street and uh there was a house next to mine that was knocked down right in back of me and the state bought the property and uh, they said that when they uh, knocked down the house they would take care of the property. Well, if you put some cameras in back of my house, the whole backyard is all blight, trash everywhere. They haven't done anything. We've called them. And their excuse is, well, we haven't been in your area yet. We haven't started any construction. And uh, once we get going, they said, we're gonna beautify, we're gonna beautify the property. And um, I haven't seen no action. I live on a corner there on East Main Street, which we all know, uh, in front of my house faces the city yard. A lot of traffic at times. Now with this busway coming in, it's gonna increase the traffic a whole lot. Uh, we mentioned the railroad at times. Uh, you do not get trains here running at high times every uh, three to five minutes. People complain maybe uh, the trains can be loud too, but they're not running that often. They're talking about buses running at a very uh, a highly rate of every three to five minutes at high three times. Four. Starting at, what would you say, 4.30 in the morning till 1.30 uh, in the morning. The morning. So, um, um, with traffic, uh, they say these, these, these new buses are coming in, they're going to be quiet. Now they're not even talking about a, uh, a, a wall in the back now, a nice high wall to give us privacy. Now they're talking about maybe just a chain link fence. So, um, there have been some broken promises and uh, I think it's going to bring down the neighborhood. And like the young lady said before me, it could bring... Uh, different type of people in this area that are uh, well, I'm to that, move that are not going to be good for the area.